All right, well, what we're going to do here, I've got a little 13 and a half year old hen, very special little bantam hen, and um, she's got some um, pox. Uh, she's been bitten by mosquitoes and has developed fowl pox all around the face, and we'll come in and we'll show you that. But what we're here to do is to show you how I'm going to give her drops by mouth. So the first thing I'm doing is just going to calm her quietly, and then I'm going to secure her in a towel. So she can't struggle if she wanted to. So that's the first thing. So we get her up like that and there she is. She's almost blind by the pox but she'll get her sight back I think once we get all the swelling and the pain down. So that's what uh, foul pox looks like. This eye is even worse and her nostrils are blocked and she's a real mess. However if we can keep her alive for a, a week or two she should start improving and her quality of life should improve and her long term quality of life should get back to normal for a 13 and a half year old hen. So, giving her drops by mouth. I'll just bring the drops across that we're going to do. And then I also want to apply some essential oils to her, to her um, sores. So we'll just get ourselves ready. Move that end of the cue sticks, I think. And we're going to do that. All right. We're going to give her about um, four drops of this product. So I'm taking hold of the top beak and I'm just hanging on to the top beak and then I'll be just basically that's all I need to do. And secure ahead by the top beak, then I'm going to run the drop off my finger. One, two, three, four. Now that's running down her mouth off, off my finger. And we'll do the same with this one or you can aim the drops directly into the mouth, but you don't want them going down the windpipe. So if you're doing it directly into the mouth, have her head tilted a little bit more forward rather than right, rather than having a stargazing. So two, three, four, done. So that's the drops by mouth. The next thing we're going to do is to give her a chance to swallow and then I'm just going to start avoiding the actual eye, but we're just going to for all these uh, pox lesions that are coming there and there and there and across the beak and the nostril is gone, there's a big one there and we'll just come up under the eye and we'll just come back around the back of the eye Right, that's that side done. And this side. I might just get a little bit more. Now we're not putting this in the eye, we're putting it quietly, quietly, quietly. And in humans, this um, product reduces pain in about um, a minute or two. It's been on, featured on television. And I'm using it off-label in hens. We're using all natural products. These are essential oils uh, that we're applying here. Made by a company out at um, Cast Arcadia. Aroma.com Alright, well I feel that she'll be feeling a lot better within uh, a week or two and um, the main thing now is to stop her spreading this infection to other hens and roosters in the, uh, the suburbs around you so she needs to be kept in a mosquito proof enclosure um, and you need to minimise mozzies around the place so there she is we can let her rest and give her some love and say, aren't you beautiful? Hey, aren't you beautiful? Okay, we wish you well. Okay, thank you.